EA Sports and the Wolf Creek Golf Club so proudly present third round coverage of the EA Sports Spring Invitational. Interesting with the almost space age advancements in golf equipment, what with new lighter materials, and with the increased focus on fitness and strength, players are hitting the ball longer than ever. That has forced architects to lengthen the golf courses without sacrificing the integrity or the shot value of the original design. Early part of this second nine, a good approach shot. Now, pretty good chance for birdie. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. like it was certainly going in just the tap in to finish the hole now that's a good par there rich on to the 11th hole we're looking downhill 215 yards to the green and this is one of the holes that uh, you realize you're at Wolf Creek. You would never see this hole anywhere else in the world. It's amazing when you stand on this tee. You see all of the canyons around, but there is a little green area down there uh, with, surrounded by a couple of bunkers. Um, it, it's, a, it's a great looking par three. It measures 215 yards, very playable. And you never know, today might be the day where you make birdie. Well, Mr. Ball does not meet Mr. Fairway. It's off, 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 rough. That was some shot out of the rough. I really didn't think he could even get that on the green. Well, just to get it on the green, as you say, I think is a big win. with that par moves into second place just a mere shot behind par 5 12 and frank another reminder that wolf creek can really be intimidating it, it can water down the left uh, that'll take a huge dent off your scorecard uh, a lot of fairway down the right somehow find that this par 5 can be reachable and two there's still trouble to the right of this green if you get a little bit cavalier this, without doubt, the longest green on the golf course. It's 55 yards from front to back. <laughs> Tug that one a little bit offline to the left. He'll pay a bit of a price because that rough is a fairly thick. Just a little offline, so now, Frank, he's going to have to deal with a rough. Well, it'll be interesting to see how strong he is. Safely aboard. <laughs> Get 
getting set now over the putt. Now has a tie for the lead with that birdie. And a pip in the stride. Thirteenth hole here at Wolf Creek, and Frank, anyone can say, oh, I'm going to take this one over the trees. But very few can stand up and say, I'm flying this baby clear over the mountains. Yeah, if you take the direct route, um, obviously it's going to be much shorter than the 350 yards that it's measured as a dogleg right. So the direct line, well, I don't want to tell you the exact yardage because it might give you too much of a clue, but it might be worth taking. It's going to be a blind tee shot, though. And we're not quite sure on the outcome. Drivable par four, not for most in this field, but for this guy, yes, he has just knocked it on. What a shot. Describe the layout here at the 14th hole. It's 444 yards, and what a beautiful hole. It is, and it's a beautiful view. You see everything from the top of that tee there. It's a hole that keeps bending to the left. There's enough bunkers down the left there to actually take your eye. That's why you've got to fixate on, a, on, a, on something in the, dif in the distance that's a much better line than worrying about that wall of sand down the left side. That is just a beautiful shot. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Played that one on the commercial side, as they say in the professional game, inside 30 feet. Yeah, 27 feet to be precise, but um, to make it from there, that's asking for a bit. You couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. So a tester from four feet. Our year's fine, isn't it, Frank? There you have it. Round three is finished, and it was a good one, Frank. Yeah, after three rounds in, uh, you really could start to see who could take home the trophy when it's all said and done. Great play, though, up until this point. Uh, round four should be an absolute thriller. EA Sports and the Wolf Creek Golf Club so proudly present final round coverage of the EA Sports Spring Invitational. This is up, it's good. That is massive off the tee. Meters, yards, I don't care how you measure that. That's got to be what? 300 meters, 325 yards, something like that. Wow, 
lucky break right there, Frank. Well, that's what everyone else is going to say, except him. Really starting to shine moves to 10 under for the tournament. We're here at the downhill par 3, 11th hole. Frank, it's 215 yards from the back tee. This hole uh, certainly is not for the faint of heart. When you look at that tee shot, you think, oh my God, what do I do from here? But remind yourself, it's 215 yards and really only about 160, 170 yards to green grass again. But it's 215 yards. That should be the club that you're trying to pick. Green's big enough. Just persuade yourself. Try not to look at the canyon in the desert. There is a green down there. The hole is playable. Locked in on the reed and the speed. Close, couldn't ask for much more on that putt. Not a gimme, but well within his range. That's good work, that's good par right there. From a par three to a par five. Here at the 12th, it measures 560 yards, a sweeping dog leg left, and there is some trouble down that left side. This is a scary tee shot. There's no two ways about it, Rich. Um, you've got to get the ball in play because you, you can really rack up a good score here. That water very much in play. Doesn't matter what club you decide to hit off the tee. 560 yards actually is reachable, believe it or not. But uh, you, you've got to get it on the fairway. You don't really have to be too brave and try and take too much over there. The other thing, too, to consider about is, is this green is nearly half the length of an NFL football field. It's 55 yards from the front of this green to the back of the green. That was a big, bold strike, and now a chance for a big, bold move. Hot for either coming up. Frank, that's not one you're necessarily thinking about making. No, just a uh, good putt, though. There's no two ways about that. He's putting well. Pretty much doing everything right this week. 11 under for the tournament. 13th hole, and Frank, Wolf Creek is really kind of a macho golf course because you can stand on a tee like this and say, you know what? I'm going to take this one over the mountains. And then, if you do, then you flip the coin. Is it in play or is it out of play? This is, uh, this is one hole. You just uh, you realize you're in the middle of the desert, that's for sure. And one hole that you think, if I play this hole a couple of times, I might just get the hang of it. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. That green is tucked back in the corner, Frank, here at the 13th. What's the right way to get at it? Well, if you haven't tried to drive this green over the canyon, it's a relatively straightforward pitch up the hill. 
And up the hill means you've got a little bit of a backstop, so you can be very aggressive with a second shot. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. up with attack. A good effort, a good par putt. 14th hole here at Wolf Creek, time to pull out the driver and as well the foam because you want to take some pictures here. Yeah. What a spectacular view. Stunning. You can see a whole panoramic sort of 360 degrees right around this golf course. Then when you flick back and actually look at the 14th hole, there's six bunkers, three really in play with the tee shot, as you can see, the other three just up by the green. Anything to the right of those is, uh, is preferred, unless you want to be playing your second shot out of the canyon or the bunkers. Um, green should be fairly receptive, and three distinct portions, which is sort of a common trait here at uh, Wolf Creek. That's sort of uh, three different tier levels in that. But let's see, birdies are to be made at Wolf Creek, maybe even one here. This requires a lot of speed through the ball. Not enough on that one. Yeah, it just seemed to baby it. Frank, you always talk about it. Don't compound the mistakes. Well, here we are, another shot from the rough. And this one, no easier than the one he's just hit. That's a bogey, but that probably won't hurt. Now to the short par 3 15th hole here at Wolf Creek. What is this, Frank? Just a wedge or a 9-iron? That's all, Rich, but it's very tempting to get greedy here. And, uh, well, you pay the price, obviously, if you miss the, miss the, the green on the left down on those bunkers because they're well, a good six, seven feet below the level of the green. But uh, with a wedge or a 9-iron, who doesn't go anywhere? Good clean contact, a nice result, and a chance for birdie coming up and getting ready for the putt. So close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, you couldn't hit that much better. Struggling a bit with the flat stick and a drop shot here at the 15th hole. Well, not going to make par here. He needs this to only give up one. The bad news is, Frank, that's a bogey, but the good news still has the lead. Can't afford another, though. From a short par three to a short par four. Just 393 yards here at the 16th, Frank. And when you stand on this tee, this hole looks anything other than straight. Uh, goes to the left and comes back to the right. But if you can just fixate at the green in the distance, you're actually going to look like a relatively straight par four. And that's the way the hole should be played. Look at those first two bunkers that you see and just try and split those. Good tee shot here and nothing more than a wedge left into this green. Simplify it. That's the key. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor. Kind of. Rather nice shot. Huh? Really good distance control there. Playing well to his strengths. Made par yesterday. This one for birdie. Score that. Birdie. 
So two holes left to play. Now the final par five on the course, 562 yards, the 17th. The drive looks relatively straightforward. And I say that because there's a little creek down there that obviously you have to stay short of. But that's the fun part. They want to keep you back in an area where you go, can I hit the second shot across the stream, across the water, and still keep it on the green? And the answer is, I don't know. Like the looks of this one. Oh, yeah. We knew it right away. Picked up the tee, didn't even look at it. We can see it. It's perfect, right down the middle of the fairway. Frank had hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. But, uh, you wonder what he was thinking on that. Wow, what a shot. Doesn't even need the putter. Frank, this is really a cool closing stretch here at Wolf Creek. Short par 3, 15th, the short 4 at the 16th, and now the par 5, 17th. You can make up some ground in a hurry as you come down the finishing stretch. You certainly can. A good drive short of the uh, little stream creek that runs across there, and this is doable as a two-shotter. You find the bunkers or trouble off the tee, then uh, obviously you're forced to lay up, leaving that third shot across the water. But really a fun hole if you want to try and take that second shot off. He went for the brief swim there, Frank. He's trying to stay dry now. He is. Uh, just trying to avoid water on the brain as well. <laughs> this will take a good swing. Third shot now after the last one found the deep blue. Yeah, you can still minimize the damage here. It's only one bad shot that you got punished for. Okay, 20 feet. Not too bad. This to win the EA Sports Spring Invitational. Go ahead and fill it up. And that wraps up the final round. Just a great performance by our champion today. Couldn't agree more, Rich. Uh, I think this one will have to go down in the books as an absolute classic. Fantastic play, not only in the course today, but all week long.